Let's go. What's up folks and welcome back to another Shed Crazy video. We are doing everybody's favorite thing or at least my favorite thing. We are shed hunting for elk sheds today with the famous, the one and only EC Money. What's up guys? Eric <laughs> Chester from Hush is here with us today. You guys aren't subscribed to Hush, like what you, what are you even doing? Go subscribe. Just please do it. Please. We're shed hunting today guys, man. We got, we got big goals for like a mostly pretty much a half day. It's a little after 11. I guess it is getting dark later, but we have a good hand, a good amount of hours to go get it done in some country that I've kind of been studying. So I've got high hopes, but really you just never know until you get boots on the ground. So I'm going for a goal of four sheds to the truck. That's a good goal. I'm gonna just try to get on the board with some brownies. That's my goal for today. And we'll just kind of adjust it as the trip goes on. But we're like right on the line where we're starting to see elk sign here. We're moving up to the big faces. So it's gonna get strenuous, sweaty, I'm gonna be panting here in just a minute, but thank you guys for tuning into this video. If you're new here, subscribe to the channel, and I'm gonna be thanking everybody who bought apparel by name at the end of this video. So if you bought something on the store, stay tuned. Let's go find some elk sheds. Just walked around the hill right there, and there was four bulls, two of them shed, two of them packing on the hill I was like 200 yards away they saw me about the same time I saw them and just kind of wandered up and over the top so um, nowhere in the right zone so I'm just gonna they kind of went up the hill behind me and I'm gonna leave that alone and work back the other way um, I'm gonna glass the hill they were on though in case their sets are laying there so bulls are here signs here their sheds are somewhere we just gotta turn them up well boys it ain't much, <laughs> but it is a drought breaker. It's an ice breaker. And I thought I had the other half up the hill right there, but it's a real lousy stick horn. It's crazy how well these things blend in. I just sat down like 30 yards down the hill right there and ate some snacks, drank some water, and uh, made a couple zigzags and this thing was sitting right here the whole time. Jeez. Old sucker. Actually a pretty heavy shed, but chewed through the beam, chewed on the burr. Decent color on the back still, but I mean, it's like a, it's a heavy antler, actually, really dense. I'd say seven or an eight pounder. But it's a start. That means they're shedding up here. So I've just been working, I'm almost to the top of the big ridge here. I'm gonna keep working my way across. I'm gonna take that with me for now. If I end up throwing a few more on the pack, it might get left, but if that's all I find today, I'll carry it out of here for sure. Well, it ain't a brown elk shed, but it's brown and it's a shed, so I mean I can't be too upset. I got up here on this top and there's deer sign everywhere. I thought I might stumble onto a deer shed. There's a brownie right there, laying in a bed. Buck probably is bedded right here. Dropped it. Nice looking shed, really. Pretty four point. One we're carrying out of here. I left my elk horn back on the ridge. I'll probably grab it on my way out, but. Brown town. I wonder where his other half's at. Get a little taste of the glory. See what it tastes like. Bloody burr. Still has the wax ring, so I wouldn't say it's been down too long. I bet we wouldn't have to look far for his other half. I don't really care too much, but I'll maybe, I'll keep an eye out as I do a couple passes through this pocket. I'm really hoping one of these bulls pulled up in here and dropped, but I mean, we don't say no to that. We don't complain. Take another one of the wrong kind here. Came a chew toy. Definitely a coos. Definitely. <laughs> another chewed up muley. 
So everything today, I do have the one brown muley, but chalky chunkers, we'll donate that one back. Maybe we'll get something better in return. Yes, that thing's a smoker. All right, dude, I know, oh, dude, yes. It's hard to tell from right here. Easy 400 bull, easy 400 bull. Oh, shiz, there's the rest of them. Don't give up on it yet. Oh, yeah. Okay, all right, we're, we're rebuilding here. I need tape. Somebody give me tape. Oh, dang, easy 400 bull. Deer hair everywhere. Coming down there, all through here. All piled up right here. Hoping there's a dead head. Somewhere close by, seems like when I find hair like that, bones and stuff will be down the hill a little ways. Sometimes they like to drag them a little ways and chew on the nose and stuff. I can't tell by the color. I think it is. Oh, it's buried there? Oh, yeah, it's just buried there. Probably lion killed, but where's the head? I think it's probably a mule deer. Pretty gray. Well, it's kind of tan. I don't know. Might be a dead elk. Who knows? Who knows? I don't know nothing. Well, I'm fighting my way down through this ugly, steep, ledgy stuff. Found a way to come down through the ledges. And I look on the hill across from me, and there's a stacked set of elk sheds. It's like 400 yards away. But for me to go get them, I got to drop like 15, eh, probably like a 1,000 yards and go up the other side. I don't know if it's worth it. They look small and they look chalky. If they were brown or even if they looked hard white, I would go get them for sure. But I'm going to debate it for a second and decide. Here, I'll show you. Right there. Center screen. Weird set. Stacked right on top of each other and they look really old. Upon closer inspection, they are totally blown out. The main beam is blown out of the one. It's like busted in half the other one's totally chewed like they're like 20 year old pink nothing or so they gonna stay it's weird though i mean you'd think somebody in all these years would have walked over and grabbed them maybe they'd just been chalky the whole time people been shed hunting so all right i'm gonna duck off of this thing get down to the bottom meet up with eric and then we gotta go get some food because i'm dying the day of junk continues mule deer buck Cliff, I don't want to fall off. Wow. What a Danderson. Here we go. What a beautiful, beautiful resting place. You'd be very well honored. You guys, so we uh, got up on this bench and EC right away snipes a brown, it's a little brown sixer right off my line. It happens, it happens, all right? I mean, I hadn't seen it, no big deal. So he scored that one. So we were like, let's split and fan out and kind of see what's here. And I just snagged one off his line. But you guys need to go watch Eric's video for his reaction to him trying to find the shed because it was pretty entertaining right there. Just from his angle, it's hard to see what it was. But I walked right past it and then I got on this log and he's like, dude, look, like you find it. And I was like, I, I don't see it. And I, I almost tripped over the dang thing. <laughs> it was literally at his feet black. yeah black and like weird too so i don't know what's going on it's got a, a burr but it's like snapped barely, off huh? it's got barely a piece of a burr because you can see the, the the beads right here yep part of it is burr but a lot of it is antler like he broke it off early or something maybe he's battling with a, another bull <laughs> weird yeah that's just a that's not it's right. a break off i mean it's got the bird it's got the bird it's a it's a half and half it's i don't know if i want to call this my first brown for the year or not mm. we'll see <laughs> we'll see but anyway if it is a first brown then we met our goal which was that was my goal today was to find a brown so cool little chunk i'll probably leave it right here somewhere and snag it on our way back down yeah we got two to snag it already so anyway that counts yeah baby yes it happened i was working my way down this burn on bull tracks the whole way down and just freaking boom right in front of me big heavy brown 
curling up over this log and then I call Eric on the radio I'm like got a big brown and as soon as I get on the radio I see the other side right here 20 yards away side by side brown elk set yes this is the stuff we freaking live for right here first browns first good browns of the year let's go check these things out yes that's a sweet bull kind of short compact Oh, yes. No, he's a nice bull. Good back in, just tucked behind that log and his other half tines down right there. Freaking rad. I'm gonna walk down and show you the other one then I'll come pick this one back up. Oh man, oh my gosh. I love brands, I love brands, I love brands. Right there. Look at the beam length on him. Killer big beam. Big six. Yes, that is the best brown set I've picked in a while. A while. Look at that big old sore buried in there. Dude, that is a sweet bull. Oh, yes. Yes. Heavy short front, short thirds, but big old back end. Oh, that's what I've been needing in my life. I don't know if you guys will be able to, should be able to see it. Oh my gosh, yes! That freaking horn. Look at that sword and that fifth. Nice bull. Long beam and just like pretty, pretty six. Good fifth, good sword. I mean like he's pushing 20 on that sword and heavy dark colored antler. Just what you dream about this time of year. Let's go get the other one. I can't find a way to film this one for the pickup, so I'll pull it out and then we'll leave it. We'll go show you over here. It's like wedged in there. But same as that other side, like seriously stuck. Like, come on. There we go. Same as that other half. Short front, but big back end. Good curve to that beam, gives him some extra length. There they are, side by side. Freaking stomper set. I'll set up the camera somewhere where I can show you what they look like. <laughs> Angles, it's so steep, it's hard. But, there he is. I don't think I'm quite in frame, but big, nice bull. I mean, everything you hope for when you make the journey to the back country. Man, I gotta haul these things away. <laughs> but both bases are real dirty, like sat for a little bit here but man stoked stoked to see what else we turn up today gotta head up the canyon find some more let's go so i'm walking around i went and got this set that i had stashed i was looking for this little brown that i found on the way in again and i found it and me and eric um we're like right behind me right there on that log see that log and uh so we had stashed this one and i was just gonna come back later and get it and uh there's another one right here that we both met another that's uh looks like a year old at least it might actually yeah it's a year old it's a little chewed on but both those little raggies right here within 15 yards of each other eric missed that one and we both missed the other one so we are good shed hunters all right, folks, that's what we ended the day with. So E picked up that one on the way in. You guys saw the pickups on those little ones. And then the good set. And then E came in clutch, work, gritted it out. Have you ever seen a dropper flo Ooh. floater G1? Dude, I like it. With that. Oh, so clean. Icy, dude, that so thing is icy. Clean, like just beauty white. Yeah, I've got two browns for the day. That was my goal though. Yeah. So you beat your goal and I, I got mine just barely. It was good, but I think we need to go bomb into some country and do an overnighter. 
think that's probably the the best plan for like, tomorrow. Dude, you're set. It's <laughs> so sick. Like giving the people what they want. Yeah, I showed them. A smaller person holding them. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dude, they look so good on broadside. Like, just that cut sword is so, so freaking cool. big. Yeah. Oh yeah, dude. Big old long bean. He's cool, man. Oh, I love when they're side by side. I was so stoked when you popped off on the radio. <laughs> Look how black they get. Yeah, I know. The color on them is crazy. Yeah. Just... Beauty. Well, the people need to know, dude. Is this a keeper for you or are you going to sell them to me and I'm going to cut them up to that? <laughs> Remains to be seen. You better check back on the next episode. <laughs> we'll see. I'll probably, <laughs> honestly, man, I've sold a lot of horns that big, so we'll see. I know you have. It's, he's cool. Well, good memory for our trip anyway. Score. For sure that is gonna do it for this video so thank you guys for tuning in um, we had a really good day uh, yesterday was okay I decided to throw them into one video for you so you wouldn't have to go through a video of me Don't just picking up chalky episodes. trash but yeah I got a feeling we're gonna be doing good on these next episodes so stay tuned I also do need to tell you guys this go subscribe to hush and Eric to see his point of view of these and I know that we're gonna get into them so I'm gonna thank some people who bought apparel as well. So stay tuned, that's coming up next. Thanks for watching. All right, I need to thank some folks who bought apparel back here in the editing room, but um, I wanna let you guys know that I do have uh, some new variations of the Ego T on my store, which is the shirt that has my face with the shed beard on it. Some new colors in time for summer. So go check those out, get shedcrazy.com. So first off, I need to thank Connie Peterson. Thank you for your order. I need to thank uh, Hunter Shelton. Thank you very much, buddy. I hope you enjoyed the hat. Uh, Craig Troll or Tolly. Thank you, Craig. Uh, Joshua Lawson. Cody Christensen. I think he's one of those little Cedar City boys. So thank you, Cody. Uh, Brent Rowan. Uh, Cody Denesto. I know I've seen your name before. And then you guys got to help me. Olawasie Adiyemi. Bro, if I butchered it, I apologize. But thank you so much for buying some of my apparel. Uh, Scott Negroni. Thank you. Uh, Jesse Turnbull, thank you, a good size of order. Uh, Tony Cavaline, thank you very much. Jackson Fromm, Jacob Kreckman, Trevor Clark, Skylar Lofgren, and I've seen your name before, Skylar, thank you. Uh, Hector Escamilla, thank you. Kobe Williams, Zach McKeon, Nick Coons, uh, Manny Bejarano, I believe is how you say it. Thank you very much. Dalton Kessler, Jacob Thompson, Austin Black, Brendan Mosier, Amy Deeds, Sebastian Farron, and Amy Deeds again. So wow, thank you guys very much. We had, I mean, it's been about a little over a week since I posted a video, but a good amount of orders this week. So thank you very much for supporting what I'm doing, for helping me put a little bit of that expensive fuel in the gas tank and being able to go out and get some shed hunting videos for you guys. So you're not gonna wanna miss the next shed hunting video. It's a good one. So thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. See you on the next one.